Hello guys, it's Rod and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rod Kutsarod and this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising a weekly tarot reading for February 11 to February 17, 2019 so traditional tarot deck here and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again want to remind you that this is a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and for that reason it will resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aries because you guys are different to one another. Additionally to that, uh, under recent deliberations with my team, uh, we kind of like concluded that the previous pricings that I had for personal readings were kind of like inaccessible for the most people because they were kind of pricey. And uh, for that reason, for the month of February, the prices are slashed down massively. So if you previously wanted to have a reading with me, but uh, the pricing was kind of like a above your budget, have a look right now uh, and uh, at the website that is listed down below in the description of this video. And you may find them this time around rather attractive. So let me finish with uh, the shuffling here. And we can go to the tarot spread, as which is going to be an enhanced tarot spread. So first I'm going to pull four cards, which are the main cards for the spread. And then every card is going to be accompanied with one other card. So for that reason, let me cut the cards and let's see what we got for you. So the first card that we do have for you, Taurus, is that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, referring to the topic of your week. The second card that is going to be the King of Cups, which is how you should not approach the situation that the Tree of Pentacles display, is displaying uh, or is manifesting. The third card that we do have that is the uh, Hermit, which points to the way how you should approach that situation which Tree of Pentacles is displaying. And the last one, it is the ending of the cycle of growth or ending of the week regarding growth, uh, which, you know, if happens, which happens, excuse me, if you follow the advice of Tarot, that it is displayed with the first, with the second and the third card. So uh, once again, guys, let me leave the Tarot deck here. So we do have the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the Queen, the King of Cups. Then what we do have that is going to be the Hierophant. Uh, the Hermit, excuse me, and the last one that is going to be the King of uh, Wands. Lovely. So uh, that is rather a bit difficult to explain, a reading difficult to explain because it kind of has a, a bit of a contradictory in it. So the bottom line, just from the overview of uh, this reading, is uh, that you are to develop, uh, for, you are to further develop some sort of a skill or an, an endeavor of yours, uh, which development is going to be provoked by a, a criticism, <clears throat> and uh, also by some fruitful discussions, and for a, a small uh, portion of you, development. Uh, uh, a support through a developing one skill for those who are now learning or are adapting but for those who are now in place is going to be through criticism or a fruitful discussions now this is displayed here with the tree of pentacles which points to exactly that so <clears throat> probably throughout this week you are to be approached with either of those three options either constructive criticism comes around fruitful discussion and through cooperation, of course, you know, so it's kind of like cooperating with somebody or doing the same thing with somebody which could relate as well into relationships either uh, or through a uh, development, developing of uh, support through developing of one's abilities and one's skills as well. But what is important here is really to listen um, what others think that you should focus on. Not because they re really know uh, may, uh, much of you, but because from a different perspective or from a objective perspective, perspective from a side, they can judge uh, what you can, uh, what you can do, or what you are good at. Let's put it that way. So, what you are good at. So throughout that week, you may find that you have a, a talent that is yet not 
explored from your behalf a talent or an ability that you can truly capitalize on if you listen to what people are telling you but just for an example let's say that you are doing i don't know a real estate business you are in the real estate business and for hobby you do have um reading tarot cards all right and you know a you you give a readings for free to friends and family and so on and so forth and someone tells you hey man you just why are you wasting your time with real estate instead of becoming a, a tarot reader you know you do have a hunch for it you do you do have a thing for it so why don't you just try it out um <clears throat> That will be the fruitful discussion thing. Uh, you know, the criticism could come around like you do something into your career or your relationship and uh, the person that you have to basically manifest that thing for approaches you and tells you, look, you are doing okay, but you still have what to learn. So why don't you try this, this and this? Okay, so constructive criticism means that they will tell you what you do wrong, but also they will support their thesis with displaying from their behalf what you should do in order to make it right. Because you suck at stupid criticism. It's not a constructive criticism. Or you are a waste of time, or you're worthless, and so on and so forth. That ain't a criticism at all. So yeah, literally, at the start of the week, this is the uh, event that you are going to face at. Uh, the accompanied card here that is the five of pentacles and uh, what the five of swords excuse me and uh, we are uh, this card uh, adds a shade here more in a favor of developing one's skills and capabilities because as the with the three of pentacles it points that you are to realize that you have placed to yourself a limit that you can go far beyond those limits all right but only if you listen to that constructive criticism fruitful discussions and uh, as well or you lean in or clinch to that support of developing of one skill which points that you can be taken as well as an, an apprentice to uh, apprentice to someone that will pass you a um what we do in our language having a word for it but let's say ability in um, in english so what follows next is the second card and that displays how you should not approach that situation. King of Cups. Well, that card, uh, first of all, it tells you that uh, there is no need for you to uh, basically drive off or put off a, a helping hand, even if you feel confident in what you're doing. Uh, I, there is always a, a positive, a, a positivity of listening into someone, even if you find their advice or um, their suggestion for that matter, at that time a bit immature or stupid as well. Basically, the um, the King of Cups here uh, plays the role of your standstill, that uh, of your standpoint, excuse me, that you may find yourself reluctant to listen, even realizing that um, what people were telling you, it's, it has a certain portion of truth in. Uh, the, King of Pentac the King of Cups, excuse me, why I'm always kind of like um, repeating King of Pentacles, I don't know. Anyway, so the King of Cups, uh, I, it, it, it does point to that um, self-aware personality and not self but self-confident personality uh especially emotional wise uh where uh you may decide that uh, what you know is enough and you don't need to stack up on top of it and that you are a all-knowing person if that makes uh if that makes sense that you don't need anybody to tell you what you need to do and uh, you don't need anybody to basically hold your hand. It has a certain also note and shade of pride here where you may find yourself a bit too proud to listen to that constructive criticism or to lead those discussions, uh, to cooperate with, with those people which are trying to point you how it's more beneficial to approach your situation, you know, or having that support through developing your skill for one or, or another reason there are simply people who denies help so what this card here points is that you should not deny any help 
that comes to you even if that even if at that point you find this help uh, futile worthless and so on and so forth the shade of uh, the king of cups it is the eight of cups and in this point, uh, in this uh, specific position, the Eight of Cups, as the shade adds, is that you have to readopt um, your positions, basically. Uh, what these cards are pointing is that you are way too close for uh, inviting ideas uh, from the world and from the others as well, you know, and in generally cooperating with people regarding that thing which manifests in you. And you have to open yourself, basically. Um, and uh, the, the the biggest thing what these couple of cards are pointing is that you need to acknowledge to yourself that even if you do something good and even if you uh, are kind of like, yeah, even if you are good at something, there is always someone else in this world that it is better than you. That That counts for everything, you know. Just to give you an example with myself, although I don't consider myself, well, I do consider myself as a good reader, you know, but my point is that no matter how good reader you think I am, there is always someone better than me, all right, in this world. And from that person, there is always someone which is better than him as well. So it's constant turnover. My point here is that you have what to extract from those discussions, support or criticism that comes around, but only if you cooperate with those people. So the next card that we do have for you, Taurus, is that is how you should approach the situation. And we do have the Hermit. So this is where the contradictory hits, really, because the Hermit is a card of seclusion. And what it tells us here is that as soon as you um, saturate yourself, I'm sorry for the term that I'm using, with this criticism or, or, or ideas from this discussion, or you take what you need um, to develop your skill from the cooperation, then it is where you will need to really deliberate upon what is substantial for you, for your life, and what you really want to achieve there, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. This card points that you should spend a, a bigger portion, portion from the week thinking and deliberating, taking a wise and uh, intelligent decision how you should proceed from now on. So what we do have here is a turning point in your life and it is very substantial to gather as much information as as much ideas as possible. So afterwards you can uh, deliberate on the collective that you have um, that you have basically stacked up and finally make your decision how you are going to approach your situation. Generally what we do have here, especially with the last card, is that we, you are to take on a brand new um, path for yourself regarding either career or regarding relationship, uh, taking under a note uh, your wrong approach from the past and your, and your right approach from the past. It is basically learning your lesson. That is my point that I'm trying to do here. And as you do so, uh, the decision that you're going to make how you are going to proceed from now on with your endeavors may not be liked by everybody, but that should be the least of your concern because the Hierophant, uh, the Hermit here, it does uh, represent that one takes on a new direction. A new direction doesn't mean a brand new beginning. It means that you will face your things in a different way, much more wiser way and much more intelligent way. And that direction uh, may not be many people there to applaud you for, but those who have unconditional support towards you will be always there for you. And as a matter of fact, they're going to be happy that this time around, you know, you're approaching your enterprises with a much more patience and as well, much more brilliant thought incorporated in. The card that adds shades here, uh, that is the Ace of Swords. And uh, basically the shade of this card points that, uh, at that until this moment, you have made the things way too harder than they needed to be. And probably this is why the criticism comes around. 
Um, and uh, basically what you're gonna find out is that it, it, it will require far less efforts and uh, as well as far little time for you to overcome obstacles and to achieve one goals. Uh, and simply uh, what this card points here is that you're gonna learn throughout this week through the criticism, fruitful discussion or support through development of your abilities to work smart rather than to work hard. Career-wise or relationship-wise, it's indifferent for the cards. It's just it is how you will find a, a productive approach of your endeavors in either of your fields in your life. And the last, what we do have here, that is going to be the King of Wands. And uh, this card represents a person uh, that comes around around the end of the week, you may know him already, okay? But the thing is that this person is going to be impressed by the change of, uh, of performance of your behalf. And uh, they will really, they will want to make a, a cooperation with you, but this time around, that is not gonna be a cooperation where you learn something, but it's going to be a, a, a balanced cooperation for example if it is a business uh, cooperation it's going to be a business partnership it's not going to this is not a business consultant this is someone who works with you all right or for example if you are single someone spots you seeing that you have changed your performance and your approach toward being single this time around and that person wants to make a cooperation with you so they want to make something out of it all right it depends on what your situation is is how this is going to manifest but that is a person comes around which um sees the change into your behavior uh, into your environment and your performance and they are really impressed by it the thing is that with this guy, that is, this is a, a very difficult person to impress, uh, to impress to. All right, it's simply they have such a, a high placed bar. It's it's more like uh, most of the time uh, when someone tries to impress them, they are always displeased because they are more they, they want everything to be perfect. What my point here is, is that you're going to be perfect for them, all right? And this person loves to live. They they seek joy in everything they do. And the best thing of this card is that that person is going to pick up your ideas and is going to transform them into powerful actions. For example, you are single and uh, you want to spend time with someone or to be with someone and spend time in Hawaii or travel and etc. etc. That's your idea, all right? So this person comes around and transforms your idea into actions, okay? So they don't just daydream about it, they do something about it. It is because your idea falls with their criteria, which are a with a high, you know, high expectations. So you fulfill their high expectations the card that comes after which is the shade here um that incorporates to this uh, to this card we do have the king the knight of cups and uh, that card only points that this is a very lucky person and they do everything with ease okay they 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 basically uh it's kind of like they do magic when they touch something just to give you an example, uh, you find a um, developing a certain thing into your um, into your endeavors very difficult to be done, and as soon as this person is involved in it, well, it simply happens. It is so easy to see. Basically, there, I don't know how to explain it really, but hope you get my point. Is that with this guy, uh, your struggle ends because they can manifest literally every single of your ideas regardless is this is going to be your uh, a romantic idea wow now as i said romantic idea that should be quite a wild sex man i mean this person can fulfill all of your sexual dreams okay if you decide if you follow the um guidance of the cards and that guidance bring that person to you, okay? So they can fulfill all of your dreams regardless of what these dreams are because your dreams are going to fall exactly as their dreams are. It's kind of like we, we are having a, uh, you know, uh, boosted coexistence. 
and uh, I don't believe much in twin flames, but if I have to categorize a twin flame, well, I cannot, I cannot get closer to that, all right? It's just I cannot get any closer to that. All right, so that was, guys, uh, your uh, weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Tauruses. And uh, once again, um, <clears throat> If you have found until this very moment, uh, my prices for the uh, personal tarot readings way too high for your for your budget for the month of February. Uh, the pricings were slashed down almost by half at some services, even more than half. And uh, just have a look and maybe you're going to find them attractive this time around. And uh, once again, I thank you so much for watching this video and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.